My name's Mike Gottfried, the founder of Team Focus, and I'm happy to be with you on this video. I'm going to be at every camp, along with my wife, Mickey. We founded this organization in 2000 for boys and now girls without fathers around the country. We're, we're all over the country and expanding all the time. I'm a former head football coach at Murray State, University of Cincinnati, Kansas, uh, University of Pittsburgh. Had a chance to take teams into USC, Southern Cal, Penn State, Notre Dame. We played Ohio State at home, Florida State, Oklahoma, Nebraska. So I know, know what makes teams click. And you're on a team as a member of Team Focus. Also, uh, worked for ESPN for 18 years as a TV commentator on college football and still work in a radio show around the country in 200, uh, on 200 stations. Helped founded uh, a, a bowl game in Mobile, Alabama, but nothing's more important to me than Team Focus and my passion is for working and walking with you guys in life. Now, when I was 11 years old, I was the happiest 11 year old anywhere. I had two wonderful brothers, a mom and dad that loved me. And one morning on April 3rd, 1956, my whole life changed at 3.30 in the morning. My, I heard my father get up, walk, and he, killed over, fell over, and died of a heart attack at age 41. I was 11. And what happened after that is I lost hope. I thought I was different than everybody else. Back then, in 1956, everybody had a father. But here I am, going to father-son's banquets, no father with me, an uncle would take me, Playing high school football or basketball, parents' night, my mom being there, which I was happy my mom was there, but my father couldn't be there. So we founded Team Focus as a team, and we've expanded all over the country. We have camps in Las Vegas, we have camps in California, Washington, D.C., Detroit. Michigan, Ohio, Tennessee, Alabama, Texas, Dallas, and Austin, and we're going to keep expanding. And what we do in this year-round program is really walk with you and try to show you and try to be a resource for you to answer some questions for you. I'm going to give you my phone number. We're all going to give you our phone numbers. We want to travel to where you're at, we want to see, we want to be a part of your life, we want to help you. There's no cost of this camp. There's no cost of the program. And one time a mom said, I heard her say, there's something wrong with this program. And I kept hearing her say that. Finally, I went over to her. She said, nothing in life is free. I said, you're right. There is a cost. The cost is to the young men when he comes to the camp or in the program, he's going to get out of what he puts in. And as we sit in the classroom, he sits up. He says, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. He takes notes. We're trying to sow into you. We want you to be receptive as a good team member. We're going to teach you. We're going to teach you how to make a difference and teach you how to be better. And so that's our goal in this camp. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. And I think you, what you'll see in Team Focus is that we want you to be a part of Team Focus. We want, may want you to travel to other camps. We may, eventually, you look around your camp, there's guys working the camp that are Team Focus members for a summer job. There's scholarships. We've walked with so many young men to help place them in colleges all over the country. 
We also want to teach you uh, how to do a job, how to work a job, how to do a resume. And we've hired many Team Focus members. So all your directors, teachers, ladies that are going to help in the camp, speakers, always listen to the speaker. Take notes down because everybody in life has a story. You have a story. You're going to tell your story someday. These men and women are talking to you. It's not about money for them. It's, not, it's about giving back. And they want to sow into you. So allow them to help you. Allow them to become a part of your life. Now, we have a great group that's going to be here for the camp. They're going to teach. They're going to work. They're going to, they're going to really be there uh, to, to try and help you in your life. Now, whatever you attitude you bring into this, you know, I've, I've seen in all our uh, camps and all our outings that sometimes an individual will come in with a mask on and he doesn't want to let himself enjoy it. He doesn't want to let go. He doesn't want to show any weakness. He doesn't want to show any emotions. But you know what? By the third day or fourth day or second day, you know, he lets himself go and he enjoys it. You know, I, I would have been the worst at a camp because I'd have been sitting there trying to figure everything out rather than enjoy it. Have you ever gone on a trip where you think about getting home and not enjoy the trip? Well, enjoy this trip. You have a great working group with you. There's rules. Follow the rules. Yes, sir, no, sir. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. You know, wear your pants where they're supposed to be. Shirt tails are in. No stealing. You know? No fighting. Uh, no bullying. If there's anything you see on this team that you think's out of the ordinary, contact one of your staff right away. Because this is your team. And there's a lot of men that have gone before you on this team that want this to be the best experience in your life. So enjoy it. And I look forward to meeting every one of you. And welcome to Team Focus. Welcome to our camp, 2009 camp schedule. And we look forward to uh, more and more time with you. Thank you. Now we've talked about the rules, now we're going to talk about Girls Network and the same program under the Team Focus umbrella. Jennifer, what do you want to accomplish with your second annual camp? But our second camp, and during our first camp, the girls uh, looked to see who they were, who am I? This year, we're going to get the girls to look at themselves again to see what it is that I can be, the best that I can be in myself. Okay, I'm going to bring on Sarah and Candace, so you're going to ask them some questions. Okay. Sarah Thornton's Assistant Director in Girls Network, and she this will be her second year also with the Girls Camp. Sarah, will you tell us a little bit about what you learned the first year working with the girls and what they can look forward to? I think the girls got to learn um, a lot at the last camp. They learned how to fish. They had a lot of interesting speakers. I feel like they could take a lot of nuggets home with them. Uh, they made a lot of friends. And one thing to remember is to take notes when the speakers are speaking so that you can refer back to them so that you can see all the wonderful things that you learned at camp. Candace, Candace is, uh, has been with Girls Network from the very beginning. She's attended camp. She's attended the mini camp. Candace has really been one of our standout campers. So at this time, Candace, I'd like for you to share some of your experiences and what our campers can look forward to. My first time at camp, 
I didn't know too much about it, but I loved it, and I showed leadership, and that's what they enforced the leadership. And by showing a lot of leadership, I was able to get a job to work with them throughout the summer, and I really enjoyed it. And you will enjoy it also. We'd like to thank GMAC. Karen and Gail are with us tonight. Enjoy the camp. You'll have a wonderful time.